All right, let's get into WWE DCW July 2006. The Tribe of Extreme has risen again. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> well, before we get into this fabulous fucking episode of ECW, yeah. Let's take a look at what was going on in the wrestling world around the time. There wasn't actually I couldn't find any observers from this time, but there was Figure four weeklies of Rose oh, okay. oh, we with Mr. That. Brian Alvarez. Oh, TNA really? aired this week, too. Yeah, <laughs> TNA sucks so bad, right? I'm sure. Of course it does. From the July 10th, 2006 figure four weekly, the entire WWE got flipped upside down following the arrest of RVD and Terry Bronk. Not Sunday Terry Bronk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Rob Sitkowski. I don't know how to yeah, say RVD's right, shoot name. Right. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, and Terry Bronk. <laughs> Not Terry Funk. Terry Bronk. No. The two were driving back from a show at the Big Sandy Superstore Arena in Huntington, uh, West Virginia, when they were pulled over for speeding in what was actually a pretty well-known speed trap. Officers smelled marijuana and searched the car. They found Van Damon to be in possession of 18 grams of marijuana and five Vicodin. Terry Bronk was found with drug paraphernalia and nine pills that were not immediately identifiable, but were known to be controlled substances. <laughs> Could be anything. <laughs> they were cited and posted bond at the scene. Word broke the next morning in the local area paper, which made a huge deal of the story, including plastering a gigantic color photo of both of them on the front page. <laughs> Terry <laughs> Brunk? Fuck, of Terry Brunk and Rob Skoskowski. <laughs> that afternoon, Van Damme and Sabu had a meeting with John Laurinaitis to discuss the situation. You're fucked, boys. <laughs> You're really fucked up. Uh, it is believed that RVD claimed he had a prescription for the Vicodin, and Sabu claimed he had a prescription for all his pills, and that the pipe that was found was brand new and unused. <laughs> but uh, So I guess possession of a pipe is not illegal, it says here. Uh, Sabu says it Could was Could be a tobacco pipe. Could have been, man, right, of course. Yes. Terry Bronk. Could have been for crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> figure well, it out. <laughs> I smoked well. tobacco out of my crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get half. <laughs> if you're going to share, then you're fine. <laughs> Based upon the statements given based, given to management by Van Dam and Sabu, the decision was made to suspend Van Dam for 30 days without pay uh, and fine Sabu $1,000. So RBD gets oh, wow. suspended for a month and Sabu pays a thousand dollar fine. Why? I also just want to. Okay, so RVD gets a 30 day ban and they're like, we have to strip you of the ECW title. It's super important. And the WWE title. We have to like, yeah, it's, we have to take this off. You. It had to be because <laughs> it had to be because of like the legal repercussions. They're like, we can't have like someone who just got arrested sure. as a champion on TV, which. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's true. Like they can't say, hey, RVD. Is still our champion. He's still a champ. He's just in jail or whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now that you say it that way, you just answered your own question, well, and I agree. Okay, we'll start with the WWE title, but ECW, like that's yeah, that's sure. hardcore, right? That's a fucking exhibitionist that, well, right yeah, there. Should, yeah. Sci-fi had the aliens, and they're anti-drugs, bro. So we just Thank found you. an alien in America. Just that's is that what happened? <laughs> they did. They just announced it. Right yeah, there. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Tony, let them okay. know. We did find one. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. Good. Right, Tony. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Didn't you hear this? The guy they went on trial and went under oath and said, "I saw an Dude, alien." The alien was on trial. Oh, so you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. The alien that they found was persecuted. Yeah, they're correct. And put on trial. Un uh, yeah, under a court of law. That's right. Oh, and he went under oath. Yes, of course. Yeah, they say an un unhuman body is what it was. It was crazy. <laughs> I huh? also have been told this thing <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> many times. You should meet this guy. Body. <laughs> <laughs> they might have to investigate me as well. Speaking of the RVD thing, look at this tweet I found. I was just like looking because I remember RVD said, "Watch your weeding while you're speeding." Because I thought that was hilarious that he said that. But uh, what does it say? Back in 2021, it says false. RVD was not driving under the influence. RVD had a bag of weed in the car, and RVD was speeding. What? Oh so. yeah. Well, that's pretty much what Alvarez says here. He didn't say he was high. He didn't like test for anything. He just was in possession. Um, yes. But yeah. So Sabu only pay, had to pay a thousand bucks. Is it because his pills were all cool? He wasn't driving, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, really it was he was speeding. The drive. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me it's some of those. Five, yeah. <laughs> give, me the, I'm gonna, give me a pill now. I'm going to check them out and let you know <laughs> what give they me are. Three pills. <laughs> I'll open my legs. <laughs> <laughs> give me four pills. <laughs> I'm going to give me some head. <laughs> give me five. I'll spin both your asses. 
<laughs> Damn it. That was the exact amount that they gave him. <laughs> yeah, well, Dude, this that's is, sad. James, this is fucked up here, man. I, 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 I had to include this part, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Terry Brunk didn't have to go down like that. Many, well, many wrestlers assume both guys will be fired immediately and were surprised with WWE's handling of the situation. Alvarez writes, obviously, if Danny Doring and Roadkill had been arrested, right, they'd likely right, have been right. fired immediately. All right. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> <laughs> you Maybe don't Danny Doring, but Roadkill, he's sticking around. They yeah. wanted to set up for Doring and Roadkill if they showed up with pipe pills and marijuana? Yeah, that's crazy. Beating? No, no, they wouldn't. He said, uh, John Lardas would have kicked him out the office. <laughs> Who and, are you? And, <laughs> leave on it on the table. <laughs> they would have stripped him to the ECW tag team titles. You would never make it in a champion carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Baba does not know your name. She would kill you, I swear. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> right here. Danny Doring. <laughs> I hate your guts. <laughs> Why does he hate them so much? I don't know, man. They're a fucked up guy. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, shame. Danny Dar and Roku are perfect opener at guys. Like, I can't even believe they were on this episode with the amount of shitty ass wrestlers they had on this shit. So, well, because like, I had them arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I sent them to all Japan and they got killed. <laughs> I sent them to <laughs> they got killed. I sent them to OVW to make sure to ruin their careers. Oh, no. Much like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good pipeline. <laughs> Pipe me when I'm lying. <laughs> uh, Randy Orton versus Hulk Hogan built around a storyline involving Orton having the hots for young Brooke Hogan. I don't know why, but young in here specifically. Hulk Hogan had the hots for young Brooke Hogan? No, Orton did. Well, Randy Orton? You, yes. Oh, okay. Correct. In Probably OVW? Not, but, uh, no, this is... Oh, Sick, so he was regular Randy Orton here, oh, okay. shitting in bags. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, regular. Speeding and with pills and marijuana in his car. For Randy sure. Orton should have been with Danny Dorian and Roadkill. <laughs> now, like, if you really want to talk about something that would have popped off, don't fucking say that I'm shit. Saying it, and don't I'm gonna say, say it again. <laughs> Randy Orton <laughs> should have been with Roadkill. He's from OVW. <laughs> now, Roadkill class. and Danny Dorian and Randy Orton would have been Mark Ginger. That's evolution. Dude, you are a sick son of a bitch. That, that's, you know that? that's an evolution. You are a sick that's, son of a bitch. That's an evolution of man. You know, Dude, that's like, a de-evolution. No, that that is roadkill, roadkill, Danny Doring. At the time, Randy Orton, and then Mark Jindrak. You know what I mean? Regression. Yeah. That's no, fucking... that's that's the evolution. Right? Yeah, God. And what? They would have been the ECW group, or yeah. they would have been on Raw. <laughs> evolution. Like, well, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, who, who, who's competing with them? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter where you put them. Dude, they don't watch even it regardless. Danny Dorn and Roka are not even sniffing Jim Ross's announcer All right, well, chair seat was on, on the Raw, first. Well, Roka was on the first ECW. Let's make sure we get that right. <laughs> Sorry. That was a hot rating yeah. for that one. I'm sure. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, that is likely going to be the main event of SummerSlam. Nothing to do with Doring and Roadkill. I'm sorry. Mm. It's Orton versus Hogan. Uh, Hogan and McMahon met a few weeks ago to discuss the storyline. Orton was originally under the impression it would take place at Mania, but apparently Brooke Hogan's CD is coming out in September, and Hulk These Hogan decided to- These boots are made for walking. <laughs> That's just what they'll do. Please tell me she does sing that song. Yeah, that song is hot. Well, Hulk Hogan decided to rush the whole gimmick uh, to get her as much exposure as possible, leading to the release of her CD. He's a great guy. What a fantastic father. <laughs> Always has been a historically good guy, Hulk Hogan. Dude, he just got married again, dude. Oh, yeah, to his daughter. <laughs> again? <laughs> they got remarried. They just renewed well, their vows. What the fuck is going on here? Yo, did he just marry his daughter? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> John Laurinaitis is talking to himself. It's like a angel devil. No, he's, ta John he's talking to Danny Dory and Roku. <laughs> no, he just he married his daughter. <laughs> Who the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I, I told you guys. <laughs> Get out! Go to jail! Get out! Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Kane is very upset. <laughs> oh, okay. Kane's very upset about how the whole fake Kane angle played out. They promised Luke Gallows him was fake Kane. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Luke Gallows, legendary overachiever. Should Good have been an him, evolution. Man. What? <laughs> 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 what? Which one? Yeah, yours dude, or the real dude, one? The overachievers would have been like an epic group, and Danny Dorian, Roadkill, awesome. Mark Jindrak, Randy Orton, 
Kane. All right, I'm in now. Yeah. Kane? Kane or fake Kane? <laughs> well, you know, he wasn't fake. His name wasn't fake Kane on the show now. Come on, his name was Kane. Was it not fake Kane? No, they probably Kane. called him fake Kane. Kane, but it was Kane uh, on the show. But his nameplate, his nameplate. Was fake Kane ever in a game? I don't think they ever, he never yeah, made it that Yeah, he's in 2K23. <laughs> <laughs> he's bald. <laughs> Well, they promised Kane he'd be in a, a major heel by the time the movie came out. See No Evil, of course, which oh, we've okay. watched on our Patreon, by the way. We have. Both of them. <laughs> a lot of oh, Kane shit, penis and nose. <laughs> a lot of it. A lot of Kane penis. Uh, and that, uh, this deal with the new Kane would be a career-defining angle for him. <laughs> Many Kane penis. <laughs> <laughs> for you, Dory. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you with the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you keep doing that, Todd, I'll kill you. What's wrong with you? <laughs> So here they, they told Kane that this fake Kane angle would be a career-defining angle for him. Originally, the idea was to try to hold it off until Mania. Instead, WWE rushed the match into vengeance. Kane did the job clean. The folks didn't give it a rat's ass. And Vince did one of his freakouts and canceled the whole angle. <laughs> yeah, I think Inoki did that, too. Uh, <laughs> to with <look> fake Kane. <laughs> <laughs> him and fucking Sylvester Trakai. Yeah, 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 you're both oh, going to hell. <laughs> We gotta watch that match because I uh, I've only seen the end of it. Yeah, I guess we do have to watch the match. Yeah, like is it like super fucking long and bad? No, or I, I, I think it only went nine or something. They're just boring. So oh man, yeah. <laughs> Noki said, "Fuck you, yeah, man." Yeah, they're probably softballing each other WWE style. He said, "No, no, 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 get the fuck out of here." <laughs> yeah, he you said, know, so- both of you. No soft over there. <laughs> No way. Remember that, boys. <laughs> Trini had <laughs> I like the idea that uh now I like the idea everyone to go to all Japan. Uh, yeah, I like the idea that Johnny Ace, Danny Dorian Roadkill are now like what like Mystery Science Theater three thousand deadlock. Like they're just watching it. In my mind, the, Laurenitis is behind his desk and Danny Dorian Roadkill are just too afraid to leave the other side of the desk. They have just sit there and listen to the You hear about fake game? <laughs> yeah, you know they're right about Mrs. Baba and whatever her name was. Hey, they got her name Kane. right. <laughs> Kane. Uh, from the Figure Four uh, Weekly, July seventeenth, two thousand six. Tommy Dreamer published this comical rant on WWE.com last week, and yes, it was in all caps. To all ECW fans, I take it upon myself to apologize for what happened this week. I cannot truly express my feelings. I am angry, pissed off, and totally frustrated about what I've been seeing in ECW. I need to sit back and digest all of this. If I write about what is in my head, my column will probably no longer ex- exist. Sorry. The following week on WWE.com, a message was posted. Due to recent events in ECW and on ECW.com, Tommy Dreamer's diary of violence has been suspended until further notice. <laughs> it's not a work and he's in hot water. <laughs> so he was shoot mad about ECW here and got in trouble and got his diary of violence taken away. Damn, no, that, no, was, that, was, for the, that was for the fans. That was for the fans. The fucking fans. Yeah, that was for the fans. So it's all good. <laughs> what do you mean it was for the oh for the ECW? Fans? Yeah, it was for the ECW fans. <laughs> so you know, Tommy Dreamer is all about the fans, and of course, that was his character. Last piece of news here: Hogan told the, Hulk Hogan, of course, told the New York Post, "Our show is a reality show, just like any of them. People might assume it's all real, but it's fake. <laughs> all reality shows are fake. When you have a camera on you, you're not going to act like yourself." Alvarez writes, "I'm flabbergasted." Yeah, Actually, been on the whole time. I want to know when Hogan <laughs> ever really acts like himself. Hogan promoting his reality show by saying this is a fake show is the most Hogan thing ever, and I enjoy it very much. That's fantastic. Did wow. you guys ever watch this show? Hogan Knows Best? Uh, yeah, uh, I watched a couple episodes of it. Did you enjoy it? Um, Big oh, fan? I can't remember if I enjoyed it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I know that well, I fa- saw the fact it. That you, you know, the fact you don't remember hating it is saying something, I guess. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's true. <laughs> I Maybe probably enjoyed great. it a lot. Probably thought it was the best guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for the fucking wrestling. Uh, or sorry, the Observer's Figure Four Weekly, whatever of the time. It's time oh, to TNA talk about. TNA sucks, by the way. Alvarez hates fucking TNA. TNA's the, the only oh, I, there was TNA stuff, but it wasn't actually bad. The only thing he said was the pay per view that they had that month was all right. That was like the worst thing he said. Right, that's the nicest yeah, thing he's ever like, said about TNA. Yeah, it was actually fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now it's time to talk about that real shit. EC Dub. EC FNW. All right, time to get into WWE ECW July 18, EC, 2006. EC, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the, let the bodies hit the floor. One, something's got to give. Two, something's got to give. Three, something's got to give. Kurt Angle screaming, dude. That's so sick. I like that part a lot. 
I, it's a good intro, actually. Is the best part about the show is the beginning of the show. <laughs> That's a good intro. Good intro. So we kicked the show off tonight. We got the uh, Kelly's expose. What, and what what is like what is that really? Well, it's a segment where Kelly Kelly strip teases, and then every single time Mike Knox comes out and stops her from taking her bra off. Now this time there was nobody like talking. They were like it was all Kelly. Like it commentators was aren't. It was uh, yeah. very serious. You know, Kelly is an ex exhibition exhibitionist expo. Diet. She's an extremist. Is, she is expeditiously here, Tony. You're right. <laughs> Whatever Tash says. She's like 17. <laughs> She's like 17 years old here or she something. She just likes to take her clothes off, brother. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> fucking 19 years old pussy out on sci-fi with the aliens. This is fucking crazy shit here, man. I think she said like uh, on a documentary or whatever, she like didn't know how to dance, right? Wasn't that the deal? So like actually like never she knew how tell to us. dance. <laughs> <laughs> Candace Michelle showed her up last week, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Taz isn't saying let the pigeons loose on commentary here. I don't know what's going on here, man. <laughs> well, that's weird. That we're well, not getting to the ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had to get to the ring. <laughs> oh, it's a, and like, it's a cutscene trigger <laughs> when he gets on the apron. Okay, yeah. Only, let's hit that second <laughs> rope. Let the pigeons loose. Kelly Kelly is an exhibitionist, which you will hear every single... If you see Mike Knox, if you see Mike Knox... You are hearing yeah. the word exhibitionist. If you see Kelly Kelly, you're hearing the word exhibitionist. You will hear exhibitionist every fucking segment for the rest of your life. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> exhibitionist. All women are exhibitionists in ECW. Yeah, they all want to get naked for you live. And if you can believe it, Mike Knox is here to stop her from taking her bra off. Yes, she tries to take her top off. Uh, Mike Knox come on the stage to stop her and Tess is, oh, brother, come on, not again, come on. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Taz is super horny at commentary. Now, is this, this is before Smack, I feel like I always forget, this is before SmackDown or after SmackDown? Either way, it's taped on one of the same days as one of those I shows, right? I think it was, right? I think it was his own thing, wasn't I it? I think in the first year, most of the early yeah, shows. It was like okay. its own right? thing. It, it did eventually thing. turn into after I SmackDown. Because like, the crowds like didn't like it. <laughs> they stopped showing up. Yeah, they just like thought it sucked. <laughs> so the first, the first, couple, the first like summer, like in the summer, there was like a lot of like hardcore ECW. Well, or summer maybe big not, show. Maybe not. Yeah, was summer big show, but not maybe fake hardcore ECW fans. You know, like they were to, fans of the idea of ECW. Right. They love the DVD. Sure. We love the documentary. We we. Yeah. Lo- I want to be Straw Hat guy. Those, those kind of fans. Flashing lights, blue and red. Yeah, they yes. love that shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Well, the yeah. idea so of the, ECW coming back at this time is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, I, One Night Sand was awesome. Rise and Fall of ECW is popping. The selling fucking merch. The Sandman's here. Well, Gave course. RVD the title. Yeah. yeah, and then he, uh, you know, he did crack or whatever he said on Twitter. Yeah, it wasn't even high and got fucking <laughs> everything taken away from him. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Well, yeah, Mike Knox takes Kelly Kelly away from the stage and brings her down to the ring. And Joey Styles says, you think you, w- you wouldn't date an exhibitionist if you had a real problem? Joey Styles is bitten here. Thank He's you, Joey heated, Styles. Bro. He is heated. <laughs> Show your pussy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike Knox Town Hall here. Uh, he has a lot to get off Great. his chest, of course, as usual. Uh, it does show Sandman come through the curtain here uh, and then beat the shit out of him with a kendo stick the other week. It was last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he did it again last week, as James said. He does it every fucking week. He stops her from showing the titties. Uh, and then Sandman came through the curtain, pointed the Singapore cane at him for an awkward amount of time and then smash it over his head and then fucking... No, you, had to uh, do the, you had to do the thumbs up, thumbs down thing. That's oh, what yeah, that awkward. is his thing here. It is he does his thumbs, thing. He does the Batista contract side. thing. <laughs> Constantly. His <laughs> thumbs up. He, does thumbs the, up? he like gets the crowd the approval, Vince. thumbs up. You, uh, you like canes? Yeah, uh, thumbs down. Yeah, uh, and then they hit him in the cane. It's so stupid. I hate it. I, I legit wrote down here Mike Knox promo, oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, it's only one sentence. Oh, no. so. Yeah, oh, no, that's true. No, You're right. No, no, no. Yeah, Mike Knox says that you will not Never take your clothes off in public again. Boo! Fuck you, boo! <laughs> Fuck you! She's just trying to stop her from living her exhibitionist lifestyle. Exhibitionist. Right? <laughs> Expeditiously, yes, of yeah. course. Well, he wants us to watch and see what happened to him last week because of her trying to be an expeditionist, uh, which is where they show Kelly, Kelly, and Candace Michelle from Raw dancing on the Kelly's expose, and then Mike Knox comes up and Culver's are up, and then she pushes him away, only for the Sandman to fucking hit him in the head with a cane. Uh, and then there, he's like begging off on the stage, and Sandman hits him in the head, and Mike Knox falls through the set and dies. But somehow he's here this week. 
Oh, he's fine. You know, he has to stop this exhibitionist good. lifestyle like, by, by any means. <laughs> by any means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Mike Knox tells Kelly Kelly to get in the corner and watch what he does to the Sandman. So your first match of the evening is Mike Knox versus the Sandman. Well, this is an ECW original match. <laughs> and not only that, it's an ECW Extreme Rules match. Right. Because Sandman... You're going to have Sandman hit somebody with a cane. You're not going to just not do, you, do that. Do you know what the Extreme Rules are, actually? How do you win an Extreme Rules match? Because they tell us on commentary. Okay, so they tell us on commentary? But I don't think that <laughs> was what happened. Goes, no. what <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I was just By sure the way, they you. also, just to let you know, at this time, they have one Extreme Rules match of the night. So there's only one. You only get one of the night. So this is the one uh, of the night. Oh, it's one every night. The ECW, the Extreme Championship Wrestling World Champion is not in the Extreme Rules match. Yeah, yeah so why, why would I have Undertaker and Big Show in a Extreme <laughs> Rules main event? That would not draw at all. No way, no way, because Vince thinks, you know, you do too many Extreme matches. Why he, well, I mean, you know, you do want to keep your gimmicks right, but Vince is not the one to tell you that. He has entire pay-per-views of this shit, so like... <laughs> yeah, there's one called Extreme Rules. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Pay-per-view. You <laughs> you a pay-per-view. That's dark stream. That's crazy. Yeah, you got a pay-per-view called Fatal 4 <laughs> Great balls of fire. Uh, <laughs> so wait, what was the explanation of what? The, how do you win an Extreme Rules match? Well, you can you only win by knockout or tap out, and there are what? no rules except for the rules that you had to follow here, which you are have you have to, to win out by knockout or, or tap out. Them. Yeah. Okay, that's not right, is it? Well, no, because that's not what happens <laughs> in this match. Oh, no, it does not. Find- by the way, Mickey J is the referee here, I believe. Shouts out. Mickey oh yeah, James. shout out OG. Yeah. Well, he's in the not OG Mickey- ECW <laughs> OG. Yeah, but I thought he was a WCW guy, no? Yeah, he was. He was. WCW. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're Holy right. Yeah. He, he defected? Son yeah, of a bitch. I guess so. Why, how yeah, how is off. he still around? I don't know. I actually didn't realize he was still there. I think he's also on SmackDown, too. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess uh, they just him. like the man. Yeah, Shouts good out. for him. They, uh, so, Sandman uh, makes his entrance here from the crowd, comes down to, uh, you know, from the uh, the seats Gets on the barricade. The John Moxley <laughs> entrance, I will say, for people. That sure, the she shield. <laughs> yeah. Sam mentioned should have been the shield. <laughs> should have been, been an evolution. <laughs> Rollins. No, it shouldn't have been an evolution. God damn it. Well, Tony, I think that's a good idea. I'm not <laughs> no. you, oh, with you on that one. Doing it's not a bad idea. <laughs> Dictator or whatever you said. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a couple of guys in there. There are question marks, Tony. But <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll unlock them later. <laughs> <laughs> Sandman question mark question mark. <laughs> Well, Sandman goes on the barricade, and some guy grabs his Singapore cane the long way, and Sandman just stares at him for a minute. It was a dad with his kid. <laughs> that was security insane. Does, security does nothing, by the way. There's security there. They don't do anything. Well, the prize uh, confused if Sandman is a part of the show or not. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told <He's>, him. <laughs> he starts bashing his brains in with a beer can, and this is where they start explaining it's an extreme rules match. So I just want to—I just want to make sure that I'm getting this correct here. So Sandman, they didn't dub this, right? This was just his theme song. This is his theme song, correct? This is ECW theme song. Yep, yep. yep. So, so he, why he, would they he, still like? Why do they still do the whole thing if it's not like his regular? Because I guess it like because that's just what he did. That's so they wanted gimmick, to try to brother. keep like yeah, they just wanted to keep uh, like the feel. But, I but yeah, it didn't it really did feel not. like anything, right? He's just walking by a bunch of kids now and like their dads. Beer on the kids, too. Yeah, dude. Dude, I like, what swear, the fuck is going on? <laughs> I definitely, I mean, I probably made this up, but I swear I remember because he uses Enter Sandman at One Night Stand. Yeah, that's right. Um, I swear that there was like they discussed using Enter Sandman for like trying to get the song for him for like regular use, and like Metallica gave him an insane price because. Vince like fucked them over on something before or offered or something and then like replaced well, them with somebody yeah. else. Metallica never wanted anybody to use their music for anything ever. Yeah, especially I, not I, Napster, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and neither do you, Kazaa. <laughs> I was a Kazaa guy. I was 100% Kazaa guy. Kazaa. <laughs> Kazaa was fuck bass, out of here. bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> I could download the latest fucking Nelly song as well as Lesbian Born. <laughs> yeah. You, you download, download the new Nelly song and it's an EXE file. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly. It was lesbian porn. <laughs> Hot and her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm triple clicking that shit. I'm quad clicking. <laughs> triple. Did Motorhead do a cover of Enter Sandman? By the way, just thinking about they that. They did. So why did they use the Motorhead version? Motorhead, WWE's favorite band. Like they probably said this guy. Triple H let anybody use fucking Motorhead. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, oh, you're right. You're right. He definitely <laughs> is. <laughs> 
So I also want to make sure. What were we saying? Oh, just about the theme song. They had like a cover uh, version that you hear on the DVD before on the ECW DVD. I'm that's s- kind of like Enter Sandman that they they used for uh, when they. They should have had Serge the- take and go nuts <laughs> and make a song. Oh like, shit! <laughs> Enter Sandman. <laughs> That would have been yeah, awesome. been sick. In the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're really cooking, you're cooking, you know? Yeah, Sandman would have been way more over. <laughs> with Serge Tankman. If he just changed his name to Sergeman, that would have been, that would have been down. T- Tankman is taken. You can't do yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. TNA made a, a TNA's Oh, yeah, he used Sandman the TNA and her Sandman, right? Yeah, he did. He like, yeah, uh, Sam and Serge TNA version, theme. I think. Serge right? and Dale Oliver. Had to be with Dale Oliver. Come on. Oh, yeah, Dale right. Oliver, yeah. This is so ballsy, by the way, because like I'm pretty sure Metallica would have like they would have steamrolled their assholes. Yeah, this is super yeah. ballsy, man. Wow, yeah, it's crazy. But Bass Dale Oliver, you don't fuck around. Nah, no way. He does man. not give a fuck. He's getting through his theme songs, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna sound sweet too. Let me tell you guys wow. something about this too, man. So this okay. ECW joint, like if it, they they definitely weren't trying to make it feel like old ECW. Like they kept a couple of like the the originals to try to like. Obviously, right. keep that audience tuned in. Like, you yeah, know, did right. Vince really want to keep Balls Mahoney around very much? I can't imagine too <laughs> yeah. much. Yeah, he cuts a promo. He can uh, talk on like Saturday. I like balls. Well, Tony, he can talk. That's right. Like, yeah, like objectively, he can talk. Right, we'll talk <laughs> about his no, promo. He has a voice. Yeah. yeah, we'll talk about that. He knows how to talk. So, yeah. Heyman is still writing at the time, but Vince is like the final say still. So, I'm pretty sure shows are being like torn up and rewritten the day of. It was until Paul Heyman, uh, or until Vince McMahon December said, yeah, does member. No, and he said, fuck CM Punk is champion. And then Paul Heyman lost a gas yeah, quit. fuck you man. well also i mean you can tell because they're getting over so many buzzwords it doesn't feel right hearing joey no. styles and taz talk about extremists and exhibitionists and the sandman tribe extreme tribe of extreme <laughs> yeah. sandman's this is sandman's popular beer bash yeah what yeah, is going on right beer now bash. i had that written down oh, he had a beer bash man, yeah it's right. like the thing so i'm like listen to this i'm like dude this is rough you know what i mean like dude none of this feels imagine. organic at all I just think about you said beer bash. It just made me think of like a segment like Carlito's Cabana with like oh Sam my god, beer bash wow. talk show segment. Dude, ECW. holy shit! <laughs> holy shit, Tony. He would have had Ball kegs Ball. in the ring. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> little screen, a little CRT. A little, uh, yeah, a little cigarette gimmick there. Yeah, uh, ashtray, ashtray CRT. cigarette gimmick. Yeah. You mean an ashtray? <laughs> Sorry, I don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's balls awesome. Mahoney's balls and around. <laughs> there would have been like uh, drums, like those barrel drums. You know? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I cannot wait to tell Balls Mahoney. Sandman's beer bash coming soon to tell Damn me. it, no, dude. What was no. what was Balls Mahoney's? Okay, we're let me. All right, we got to get through Mike Knox. Balls is coming. Man. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah balls we'll is get coming. to Balls. We have so much. We're even get to Balls. <laughs> oh, there's just so much shit on the show. Balls is so man. deep into the show. Yeah, yeah. he is Balls deep. In it. Oh, uh, holy fuck! What? That's his fucking C- Carlitos Cabana segment, balls deep. <laughs> holy shit, man. <laughs> bunch of nuts in there, like peanuts or something? No, just a bunch of fucking big ass dicks. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 All right, all right, all right. Uh, by the way, just to let you guys know, this is a, a special 11 p.m. start time for this. I don't know what else what? is on sci-fi. Is that right? Because <laughs> yeah. that's extreme, Tony. That's extreme. No, wow. it was supposed to be at 10, but it was at 11. I don't know why. Something There's probably a college Shut football up. game on or something. On sci-fi? <laughs> <laughs> it was the aliens versus the, the dogs. <laughs> What's that alien football game? The football game with the... Destroy mutants all humans. Versus, mutants versus aliens. Humanoid. That? All right. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> Mutant football aliens league. Versus the that dog. Oh, I do remember that, Tony. Yeah, they brought Mutant it back. Mutant football too. league. They brought it back oh, for I this, do remember that. this night. I <laughs> might <laughs> anyway, not. The Mutant football league. Okay. <laughs> they were huge. Yeah, those dudes are huge. It's like, uh, the, it's like the XFL, by the way. No, yeah, you're right, Tony. And they did re-release like that it. joint. Yeah. And did you know that they had to go on trial, by the way, these aliens? 
Yeah, we talked about it. It just I don't happened. Think you guys were at any fucking alien trial, guys. I don't think you went to any <laughs> trial. Dude, sci-fi Tony, alien trial. You didn't see Tony, it. we can't uh, talk. No. We, this guy doesn't oh, know. We can't talk X-rays. about it with him. Now, hold on. Now, well, you yeah, guys, sh- you're keeping sh- secrets. You're keeping yeah. al- government yeah. alien yeah, John's secrets. Government from me? expeditiously yeah. expedited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He just government named me. He's told me, John, what the fuck is that? That's right. To the UFO you go, bro. No, no. That's right. Get his ass out of here. No, so, keep my ass right here, please. <laughs> we are probing you. So the first match of the night is Mike Knox versus Sandman. Uh, yeah, both I guess of them are, talk about this. Both of them are ECW extremists. Uh, Sandman <laughs> does his beer bash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is your ECW Extreme Rules match of the night, which you can only win by knockout one. or you tap out. One. Yeah, that's right. You only get one of these a night, and here you go. And <laughs> you'll never guess out. what the finish is. Do you think... Press one in the chat if you think it's knockout. <laughs> Press two in the chat if you think it's tap out. Press three if you think it's none of the above. So, I'm I'm gonna have to go with knockout, of course, right? That has well, to be. we'll see. I guess. Tony, Press you four if you think in? it's two dick kicks and a pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tremendous finish, actually. Like I don't know why more people don't finish matches this way. But please don't ignore the Sandman barricade bump where he flips upside down and stays there for all at him. Crazy. <laughs> Dude, that's like the AJ Styles bump. AJ Styles used to do that back at TNA. That's where AJ Styles got it from. <laughs> he was watching ECW at 11 p.m. <laughs> yeah, after the Mutant Football League. <laughs> he was. That's why he was tuned in. He's like, oh, ECW is on too? Holy shit, man. ECW trying to take food off my family? <laughs> <laughs> food off my family? <laughs> Fuck you, Jeff Hardy. You know, I think Monty Brown should go work here. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Oh, also, I don't know if you guys saw this. There's a giant I Heart the Big Show sign with red glitter on it in the crowd, which I thought He's was evil, great. by the way. He's supposed to be the super bad guy. Did they show that? They zoomed in yeah, on it? Was, it? No, it was just in the crowd. I don't know. Oh, I okay. it. it was like I red and covered taken. in glitter. It was awesome. It was great. That's fucking tremendous. It was probably Big Show's mom. <laughs> she was there to support him against The Undertaker. <laughs> Mike Knox also chokes the salmon with a camera cable, and he should have been fired because Mattel didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let him know. <laughs> but Taz says it's all good in the hood. So there's that. Does he say that? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's good. You know what's crazy here is that we're watching a Sandman WWE match in 2006. <laughs> you know, his ECW run, the only thing he did for the last two, three years of ECW was he got the cane in his tag team time. And you he know lost. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he just so, lost forever. So him, like, having a WWE run in 2006 where he has buzzwords made for him and shit is crazy to me like Dude, just he, watching this even crazier james he go he gets drafted to raw <laughs> like he's on raw that is that, that's it? actually insane that's a year after this yeah what year was finley's run like finley had a run in 2006 didn't he 2007 what, ecw no just finley had like a run in WWE. oh yeah that's a six yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, they love right. i don't know what it was about WWE at the time they love bringing like like those old guys for like a run a little run for them i think he was what wasn't he helping the women and they're like oh you can still go and shit it's yeah, like you're pretty really good, good huh? actually yeah, yeah all right cool yeah that was we awesome, got this yeah. fucking gimmick for you <laughs> you're irish <laughs> 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 well, this is good <laughs> we have this irish gig who to give it to <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you're Irish. <laughs> um, so Sandman, we're on the floor now. Sandman has the cane, and he's gonna go hit Mike Knox in the head with it. And he does the thumbs up. This is his thing. Uh, yeah, thumbs up and then thumbs down. And he, s- he turns back, turns towards Knox, swings the Singapore cane, and Mike Knox pulls Kelly Kelly in the way, and he fucking cracks her in the head with the cane. This possibly could be kelly kelly's first bump on tv ever oh yeah you're with right a singapore game yeah you're <laughs> right she gets annihilated that yeah awesome. he swings the fences for sure i'm pretty sure she has a knot on her head when they're taking her out later oh, what? Wow, okay so crazy. do you think sandman came up with all this shit he's like all right so i know i'm in wb i have We're calling this match or no or? like all this shit like the beer bet ba- like do you think he's like I- i'm gonna call it the beer bash and i'm gonna do this thumbs up thumbs down thing and like all this shit <sighs> no way no way. that was like the Definitely- uh, the beer bash couldn't have been right, Tony, but like nah. the thumbs up, thumbs down might have been him. Because nah, like he was, it was, he was definitely. Like, it, I feel like it was all like a writer or somebody that like watched. It was like he, probably uh, what's that dude's name they used to write the fucking Chris the Joseph the Scooby Doo guy that used to write for oh. <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. Talking, <laughs> yeah, it's probably his idea. He loved <laughs> he loved the easy <laughs> WWE. <WD. laughs> Scooby Doo guy is awesome. <laughs> I don't know why Freddie Prince Jr. By the way, for making the Sandman do all this shit. 
Because I know it's Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, get those up, those down. Yeah. Okay. Out of Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah, Freddy, I'm going to do the thumbs up, thumbs down, Freddy. <laughs> Yo, Freddy. <laughs> I said, okay, all right. I hit the fucking 17 year old my game, right? <laughs> oh, sounds good. All right, that's fucking fine. Get out of my fucking face. I'm not even on we the We don't show. care. We're going to start putting you in SmackDown and shit. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, you're in the video game. Shut up. Knox then gets in the ring, low blows Sandman <laughs> twice in a row. The first one's like a running one. Running, kick him in the ball. <laughs> this, is, this is WWE creative finisher style. Yeah. I definitely had a move like this. Just kick you in the ball Dude, four the ball, times. The ball slow slow motion miss. It's got it's got to start with double middle fingers. Low blow, low blow, low blow, low blow, low blow, low blow. Into it, low blow. Into it, double middle fingers, and then you got to give him the stutter. Like that's the that's the gimmick slow right there. Man. That's the slow mo for sure. That shit was gas, man. Dude, we should do a fucking tournament of people making creative finishers. Like who can make the fucking best one? Oh, that'd be awesome. Dude, we gotta bring creative finisher back. <laughs> Yeah, we that's what it should be like. We'll have eight guys first to a finish, and then like everyone has to create their own finish. <laughs> that, that would be pretty dude, cool. Slow motion low blow into slow motion mist, and then, dude, I would do it even worse. I would because you could do the tombstone, but like that's incredible style where you just spin around. Yeah. So I would do the most spins you can do in the slowest speed you can <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> really fast. I remember you online shit was so corny with the slow mo shit was though, bro. Up, yeah, bro. It was, it was fucked up so crazy. Bad. Gun, I would kick, always gun, go kick, super gun, fast. Kick, gun, kick, gun, I thought it was yeah. funny when they'd be fast as fuck. Yeah, that shit was they, funny. They definitely were, but you pissing people off, you got to do it slow. Yeah. <laughs> if you were trolling slow, there was like suck, suck it too. Sit there wasn't there a suck it taunt too? There was the suck it into pedigree. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, running low blow from Mike Knox, then another low blow, and then Sandman falls down. One, two, three. The <laughs> knockout. Knox. That knockout, right? It was a knockout. <laughs> no, Mike Knox pins him <laughs> to win the match in the tap the out or knockout match. Wait, so yeah. It wasn't knockout. It wasn't no. tap out. No. Wow. So it was they, a pin. They unlocked the third stipulation. <laughs> I bet you after this, they never mentioned that knockout or tap out thing ever again. They can't, right? Or they just do. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, it's knockout well, or tap out. Whatever. Sam the knockout tap finisher, out. right? What was his uh, finisher? It was a uh, white Russian leg sweep. Yeah, oh yeah, he he would or hold the... it afterwards and do a submission, right? I think oh, he did. Like I think he face? did the DDT in in WB also. Oh, you're probably right. He wasn't doing the uh, the rolling rock, was he? This no, time? no, he wasn't. <laughs> I tried. I remember playing SVR 08. Yeah, it was 08, and I was using Sandman because the ECW invasion. And I was yeah, like, yeah. what is this fucking guy's finisher? I kept trying to, <laughs> I was like trying. So I was playing on the hardest difficulty and shit. So like, I'm trying to like figure out my finisher while Dude, also trying to lose. Yeah, yeah, I was like, it's gotta be the roller rock. And I went up, I was like, it's not that, what is it? It's not Damn, a DDT. What, I can't even remember what it was. I have, was? Oh, in the I video, I eventually figured it out. It's the Russian leg sweep, right? It might've been the Russian leg sweep, but it was in like a weird position. I don't think it was because you didn't have a cane with you at all time. Yeah, no, unless he just did the Russian. Oh, his finishers did. are... Hurricane Rana 9 and Swanton Bomb 3. So he does have a Swanton? I tried. I tried. But maybe it's James, maybe it's the one where like you have to have him in the corner oh. and it does like a full animation. Oh, oh sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, Damn. Yeah, roll, you're right. The rolling yeah. rock on a rolling yeah. rocker. He's doing the rolling rock. <laughs> rolling rock <laughs> on the rolling rocker. <laughs> on the rolling rock. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> yeah, so he wins by pinfall in the tap out or submission. Well, how about that? Well, Knox leaves Kelly Kelly on the ground as she is still selling the kendo stick to the head. <laughs> he just gets the fuck out of that. I thought that was kind of funny. She's dead. Yeah, yeah. she's dead on the floor. Sandman's holding his balls. <laughs> hey, yes. dude. Yeah. <laughs> grab his <laughs> Yo, Freddy. My ball. Freddy, my ball. Dude, I thought yeah. he was going to help her up and then, you know, whatever. He leaves like, her too. Yeah, he leaves her too. He helped uh, her last week and just leaves her this week. He doesn't give a fuck. He's over it. He's yeah, over the exhibitionist because she's... She has my balls. <laughs> she's just has my balls. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> yeah, he's bleeding in the ring, holding his balls, and then he leaves also crying about his balls, and then they load Kelly up onto a fucking stretcher. Dude, this picture of Sandman head first into the <laughs> ground... <laughs> Shit is crazy looking. If you imagine he's just falling from the ceiling, it's even better. <laughs> just fucking fell. His finisher is a headbutt vertically. <laughs> Dude, that's like an. I should have thought an NL thumbnail. That's a look like. Dude, I'm using this for something completely unrelated. Somebody has got to do this now. Off the top rope, 
vertical Dude, this headbutt. Is a, this, is a move, this is a move in Raw too. That move. What vertical you go, headbutt? Dude, you jump straight up and then you come straight down on the top of your head. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. Why is no one doing this? Dude, change the business. Dude, if you're wrestling school day one, pitch this and you'll fucking hey, make it. Pedro, please draw a Sandman doing a diamond <laughs> headbutt <laughs> vertically. <laughs> up. Sandman <laughs> diving up and off the top, hot dog style. Please get that on the rolling there. rock. On the rolling rock. On the rolling oh, rocker. Fucking hell. Thumbs up, thumbs down to that, brother. Oh my! But guys, still to come tonight, the Undertaker's got to fight the Big Show for the ECW title. Fucked up graphic now, here, I, man. I I want to make sure we all understand this. By the way. They mentioned that this is going this is going to be a WrestleMania quality main event. It is the biggest match, also James, the biggest match in ECW history. Literally. Holy shit. Literally. Whittily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and we're gonna save it for later. But this Undertaker. Oh, this Undertaker. <laughs> hey, hey, if y'all like this Undertaker, y'all better Tune get out ready. Later. Yeah. yeah, y'all better get ready. So it shows a random vignette of the <laughs> reject <laughs> Shannon <laughs> Moore. <laughs> he shows up and Deb says this is just gold dust. <laughs> Holy oh, man. Yeah, the uh, reject. So this is before Dilly Gaff, Shannon Moore. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's Dude. not Dilly Gaff yet. So, it, okay, it zooms in on his face and that's it. That's all you get. Like, because I guess their thought process is like, this is enough. Look at him. But like, <laughs> <laughs> you also have to realize that at this point, there, I think Taz even says it later on in the show. He says that everyone on the show is like, it's the land of misfit toys. Sorry, I'm just yeah, looking well, at this picture of Shannon Moore. <laughs> it's crazy, he's insane man. Fucking looking, yeah. man. Yeah, Why can't like there just be like where, turtles? When's Kurt Angle get on the show? <laughs> he's on it already. I think. Why is he here? <laughs> yeah, what's your fucking deal? And they said we got the reject Shannon Moore coming in. And <laughs> <laughs> you're, you better hold on to your spot because it's about to get taken. Did you see this fucking guy? He definitely <laughs> looks like an alien. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Dude, stop talking about it. I bet you, you know nothing I, about it's it. It's sci-fi, Tony. You got to fucking alien on sci-fi. That is so crazy to me that like whatever contract they signed with sci-fi, they were like, you have to get the fucking freakiest, <laughs> the weirdest looking. Look at these guys, ever. man. Like, yeah, like they're like Craig was not going to cut it. We need the reject shit and more. <laughs> Yeah, man. Make him fucking stare at the and screen. Mike Knox. <laughs> Dude, Shannon Moore has like a bad run. Like even in like TNA, he had like a bad. Then he like Life. his <laughs> best <laughs> run. Tony was fucking the original three count. Okay, yeah, I guess you could give it that. I was gonna or say. Yeah, I, was, I was gonna say in WWE, yeah, when he was originally on SmackDown, they gave him a little yeah. push. He got to the cruiserweight title. He joined Matt Hardy. Yeah. That was like his definitive. Run sure, me, yeah. We just watched the TNA episode where he was at a match with Jeff Hardy. Because <laughs> like, he's a good, he was bad. a fucking good worker. He was. Yeah. He just had like a bad run of like because he. I remember in TNA he gave like Jeff Hardy a painting or pa Jeff Hardy gave him a painting or something. I don't. Yeah, remember you're right, was. Tony. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was, it, it was like, Jeff Hardy's painting backstage. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, and they left. What the fuck ever, guys. This was his definitive run. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> did he even ever <laughs> debut here? <laughs> he did. He yeah, had matches. Cause yeah. Punk smacks him in the fucking face eventually, oh and they have a match, God, and then Punk right. beats him. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're right. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're doing like because Punk has a promo later. Spoilers, but yeah, they, and then they fucking face each other. Punk beats them. Yeah, that was in Hammerstein, I think too, right? I think the Hammerstein one was just incredible. Just incredible. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Punk was running through some motherfuckers at this time. They said, "Look, man, you're getting the <laughs> strap." <laughs> Yeah. Dude, yeah, hell yeah, they had a lot of stock in him, yeah. He, his entering debut was a loss to Punk on September 12th, a week out before Punk had confronted Moore and called him a poser and slapped him. That is crazy, and then beat him. <laughs> beat him. <laughs> and then he loses to Punk again, and then he, he goes away. I was about <laughs> to say, to I don't ever down. remember having him have a run or anything. Like, No, he has one more match in ECW, makes sporadic appearances for the next year, and then goes to SmackDown. I feel like it would have been like a he would have been like a Paul Heyman project, and then Vince was like, "Yeah, I don't like that." And then they that had way it. too many guys for like the An hour, small amount of time line. they had. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so like guys 
that come in like Shannon Moore, like you're just gonna get eat up. You know you're what I mean? You're just getting beaten. Yeah, you're here to lose, which is not a bad spot, but like now you're getting paid well and you're on TV and shit. So. <laughs> yeah, look at the screen. Look at the screen. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Well, well, it was just like I guess like during the early days they had a lot of vignettes of like guys coming soon, so it was like cool to have like all these. Hey, like, well, that's what that. we did in ECW. Yes, yeah, so they would do straight up. Next. They just put licensed music on TV back then. It was crazy. <laughs> it was awesome. So uh, everyone on ECW is a fucking freak. And speaking of, here's Paul Heyman with two Riot Gear bodyguards with him. Dude, how fucking? I mean, I don't know how if we've talked about it. But the ECW theme song is so fucking awesome. Yeah, it's got Dom Marie on the Tron, too. Dude, the Tron is awesome. Yeah, it's just the the best of ECW. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's the old ECW intro. Like, yeah, the TV Tron. Yeah, yeah, it was. But like, yeah, they don't show it on. Like, it's just for Paul. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, that's crazy. Dude, it's it's awesome. What a great fucking song. Yeah, he has his uh, his goons here, the security, which I think are the Bashams. I don't know if that's ever revealed. I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're no, right. No, it was revealed. It was. I think. I think it was. Part I think that. Yeah. Game. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. They take the yeah. big helmets off. They're bald. <laughs> <laughs> See, the bashers are two guys I just, I just never got. I never understood it. Well, if you would have a little respect for the damage, you fucking piece of shit, then the I would OVW. like you to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> the OVW pipeline wins again. <laughs> yeah, he went back. <laughs> Wait, great for him? <laughs> Fucking hell. He made it out the pipeline, they shoved him back in and sent him back down. <laughs> Get your oh, ass back in there, yeah. <laughs> you were bald. Yeah, I just, I don't know, like, maybe I, I went, because I was, like, kind of out of, I was pretty much out of WWE at this point. So, like, every time I've seen, I haven't really, like, watched too much of the Bastions, I just know they existed. And they then I existed. Kn- yeah, well, I know, just- like, they existed, and then they then they had the, the girl that was with them. Yeah, Shani- 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 yeah and they were, like, two That was cups. their definitive run, by the right? way, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah, it was, right. Yeah, they were like two They were JBL. Yeah. I, ma- I imagine their cage match rating is brutal. Oh, my God. Let me look now. I gotta look. <laughs> yeah, take a look. I need to know. Yeah, me too. My man Kyle here said, I was never fond of this team. I, am I misremembering, or did they just appear out of thin air one day? <laughs> <laughs> That's legit what you just said. I did just Holy say shit, that. wow. Yeah, That's wow. fucking crazy. That is crazy. Holy there you shit. Go. Well, Paul Heyman's here with the Basham brothers, and... Hello! Paul Heyman has suspended <laughs> Rob Van Dam because he was smoking a little too much weed. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, we got that wrong. <laughs> yeah, they suspended him for uh, 30 days for his own well-being. <laughs> why? <laughs> why, yes, Paul? Yeah, why? Yeah, someone say anything? Why, why is he, why is he no. suspended? No. Okay. Well, he lost the ECW title of Big Show, and then everyone threw drinks at the ring. I'm pretty sure that was in Philly. Did we watch that? Uh, yeah, I believe we did. I think we watched sure where they chant pussy or Randy Orton. <laughs> no, I think that's the pay per view, right? Oh, that was based. <laughs> <laughs> that was based. So he says, uh, I explained it to you last week how it's your fault that I had to suspend Rob for 30 days. And, uh, you know, I want to clear it up. I understand you are all fucking stupid, but I have to educate you in the past and I can do it again. But then Tommy Dreamer comes to the ring. So, Heyman said, I have educated you in the past. Here comes Tommy Dreamer, and Joey Styles says, here's someone that doesn't need want to be educated. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> uh, Dreamer just fucking talks, man. James really liked this promo, so I'm gonna let James talk about this one here. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, I gotta tell you, man. I message these guys, like, I don't know. Three all, times, all I day, swear. All day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like different periods of the day. I would see new messages about this. I haven't watched it yet. So I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? It got to this segment, and I was like, uh, Tommy Jr. started talking, and I, like, paused it, and I was like, I can't watch this right now. Like, my, <laughs> my headspace is not ready for this fucking promo. I come back to it, and you know, he starts talking again. I go, whew, I still cannot watch this shit. So I paused it again. <laughs> I came back later that night, and I finally fucking got through it, man. And what a worthless fucking load of shit this segment was, <laughs> man. Dude, Come on. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tommy. As well. <laughs> Thank you, Dixie, also. Just Dude, the way there. that James was, like, mad about this, I was like, holy shit, Dreamer must do, like, a retirement speech here. Dreamer, I think, talks for, like, a he minute. Says, like, <laughs> he says, like, two sentences. Yeah. It was enough. It was enough. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> He was so James is yeah, like I don't, sick I guess to his stomach. Tilted, I, he doesn't even he doesn't say anything bad. He's just like I was with you since ETW started, and uh, right or wrong, I always had your back. So you know, tell these people what because I looked at it. T- look, Tony, I looked at it with with the history of knowing how these segments go, and my head immediately went to I'm going to be here all fucking day. 
Dude, I thought James was going to veto the episode because of this promo. <laughs> I'm still unvetoed. I've never still I've still That's never true. vetoed. I've still true. never vetoed, so. That's fair. I, I fucking went through it, but golly, bro. I, I wrote down here, I blacked out until Dreamer stopped talking. <laughs> well, he, 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 he says, uh, he tells Heyman that he's your friend, he's his friend, and, uh, you know, for all the people that stood by him that bled for you and sacrificed everything they had for you. Yo, that locker room with explanation, and more importantly, yo, each and every one of these people, yeah. the ECW lights <laughs> that supported you in ECW, an explanation, please, man, please. What the hell is going wrong on with you, man? And then Heyman, he thinks for a second, and he goes to respond, and he drops the mic, and then he grabs Dreamer by his fat face, and he kisses him right on the lips, <laughs> big style. And Dreamer starts freaking out. He's wiping off his mouth and he's going, oh my God, oh my God. Dude, like dude, he just got killed. <laughs> not, I rewound this like four times because it was fucking ridiculous. It was sexy. Because yeah, yeah. I, like <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> yeah. Me Put too, that in my mental. Yeah, I'm right. anyway. Spank bank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. You I are, blacked yeah. out. I ain't seen none of this shit. <laughs> no. Dude, he drops the mic and it's the loudest noise I've ever heard in my life. He goes, yeah, yeah. It scared the shit out of me the first time because I was like, what the fuck is that noise? And then it was him giving a big old kiss. He big gave a big old sloppy Huge kiss. fucking, yeah, man. And Dreamer's selling it like he fucking got stabbed. Then all of a sudden, Dreamer turns around and the biggest, juiciest, gorilla looking freak ever <laughs> charges at Dreamer and kicks him in the head. I said, who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> test. It's Teflon <laughs> Test, man. Teflon Test is here, man. Holy dude, shit, dude. This guy is leaking. <laughs> He's radioactive. He left humanity First, behind. He is, he a, is, he an is a, a sci fi alien. <laughs> they said, yeah, he'd be perfect for the show. He looks out of this fucking world. And he just got veneers. Dude, he looks insane. And I would have given him the belt right away. Dude, Devlon Test, the Punisher, are you kidding me? <laughs> Andrew Test. This Martin. is like a crazy ring of people. You got the Basham Brothers, Paul Heyman, Tommy Dreamer, In and big Test. Helmets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck Holy is going shit, on, man. man. Yeah, so Teflon Test comes out of nowhere. Big boots his shit on Tommy Dreamer. Kicks the fuck out of him, too. Yeah, TKO, man. Does the craziest taunt I've ever seen. <laughs> this is not a human being anymore. His humanity was left behind in a fucking, you know, in an envelope that he sent off to Dude. space. <laughs> is that <Matt> Morgan? <laughs> Yeah, he's dude, the DNA of DNA. <laughs> Easy dub. Dude, the TKO he hits is nuts, dude. He spins Dreamer out like he's trying to throw him into the crowd. Yeah, it was gnarly. It was awesome looking. And then they recap it, and then they come back, and Test is in the aisleway, and he has the little rattiest smile I've ever seen He's got veneers. <laughs> dude, it's insane fucking looking. He's about to eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> a whole block of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what humans do. They eat a block of shit. <laughs> whole. He's going to eat it whole. And I'm like, that's probably what he up. told us. So he said, so I came up to him and said, you should eat a big block of cheese. <laughs> is, that what yeah, you, is that what humans do? And he goes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. So, so, okay. So we come back for commercial. It shows a, a big boat outside and then the arena. And then Taz tries to segue to something completely different. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't know what he, by, just before that, by the way, they showed the tail of the tape with Undertaker and Big Show and they advertised that Sabu is up next. Terry uh, Brunk. They said Terry Brunk's here. $1,000 fine. Terry Brunk is here. He's fine. Don't worry about him. $1,000 is so crazy. It's like, that's almost that's like, like, like a fuck you. We know you ain't got that yeah. much money. <laughs> Yeah. What is what is the just minimal that we can fuck up this week? You remember like uh, in WWE, they'd be like, yeah, you have a hundred thousand dollar fine or like two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, John fine. Cena would have got his house taken or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they they tried to put Batista in jail for gigging. <laughs> is it a thousand dollars? Like ruined his like life. Was ten dollars. Oh man, I ain't got that. Terry <laughs> Brunk is fucked up. He's got nefarious bills to buy. <laughs> It's like a scale. They were actually nice for doing that. You know, it's like a scale. You know? <laughs> yeah, good. Tony, you're right. The scale is crazy, but it's also insulting. Like, Charlie, why don't you, a hundred thousand? <laughs> well, Danny Doring and Roadkill would have been blown up with my bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> it does on period. <laughs> 
Dude. So sorry, yeah, they they're outside in this boat, James. What the fuck happened to Tazir? They're, like, they're showing the US No, but like they show a boat, yeah. The no, Gulf they should have been on the way. boat and then they, left. But awesome. Yeah, so it shows a boat outside. Uh, they, they got the arena out here. You know, it's not sold out. They're not going to say it's sold Mexico. out. The Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico. Are way better. Right, which is where Chavo and CM Punk have a match later on that oh, we watched. Oh, we watched yeah, that, I think, ECW, for Patreon. ECW, yeah, that's Patreon. right. Number 19. Um, um, Burger King foot what? lettuce. And Taz <laughs> tries to segue to something, and then, like, it's not that, because then Balls Mahoney's face shows up on the screen, <laughs> and Taz... <laughs> Shuts up immediately. <laughs> Taz says, we got a gigantic... And it just shut up. Oh, it's like Austin awesome Powers. <laughs> 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 yeah, he says, you want to talk about hot? Well, check out this. We got a gigantic balls Mahoney <laughs> shows up. Oh, 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 holy shit. Oh, man, this shit's fucked it's up, It's awesome bro. powers for sure. Scared yeah. the shit out of me, dude. We yeah, got Tony, a, you're right. We got a huge Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going balls deep this week. <laughs> yeah. well, we have a, I mean, a lot of people have been asking for the balls Mahoney vignette, so we're going to get one of those here. Um, well, tells the story of his life, James. Yeah, Balls is here, and he says that his shoot name is Balls Mahoney. Do you know how hard try- that is? <laughs> you try going through life with the name Balls Mahoney. <laughs> you try to fit into society as Balls Mahoney. Hold on, hold on. You're missing the best part of this promo at the beginning. Oh. Where his he fucking goes, face? No, oh yeah, but he goes, he the tip like the most like whoever wrote this fucking never watched ECW. Freddie but, Prince Jr. Yeah, Freddie, fuck you, Freddie Prince Jr. Like, <laughs> you and that dumbass dog too. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sandwiches. <laughs> oh, ECW. <laughs> Anyway, he says, you want to know what makes me extreme? Oh, fuck you. That's like the worst. <laughs> he's an extremist, Tony. He's an extremist, for the love of God. We're an ECW, just, man. He's an extremist. I know. You can't start every ECW promo with, you want to know what makes me extreme. That's Come on. <laughs> That's me writing a paper, Tony, in school. <laughs> yeah, chat I got a 500-word limit. <laughs> <laughs> what makes me extreme? Type in chat, chat GPT. I like that this show is called World Wrestling Entertainment Extreme Championship Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> on sci-fi. Yeah, Dude, don't forget always, the all sci-fi part. Yeah, I always think of a WWE, CW. I never even think of the other E. World Wrestling WWE. Extreme Championship Wrestling? Yeah, it's always Or is it works. Entertainment Championship Wrestling, brother? Oh. Well, Ball says, I'm a knucklehead. He does say that. I'm a knucklehead. <laughs> you know what makes you know me extreme? I'm a knucklehead. <laughs> I'm like a little fucking crazy. I'm right down here. Paul says, I'm a knucklehead. Holy shit, man. This is not working. Why do they even bring these guys in? <laughs> Why? This is a pre-tape. Why'd they air this? I'm a knucklehead. <laughs> but, he, but James, he likes to go all out, kill or be killed, and he has no regrets the next day as long as he gives it his all. And he may be a bit uh, nuts. He may be a bit nuts. Get it? Because the balls. Dude, he's it. a knucklehead. <laughs> well, he likes himself that way. Nut style. Knucklehead style. Because he's balls Mahoney. Which is oh, hard for him. Hey. Dude, balls then, it like sits on his face for a second. And then it, <laughs> at the no, very man. last frame, face. he goes, nah. <laughs> Tongue emoji, dude, with the fucking piercing. Yeah, dude, his tongue is like fucking yellow or something. I don't know what's going on. You in think there. balls on his brushing his teeth before his WWE job? No, <laughs> 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 exactly. That was the craziest one to combo I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, he's a knucklehead. <laughs> oh, he's a little nut. <laughs> Holy man, this, this shit was never gonna fucking work. Oh, shit. Dude, flashing lights, fuck you, James. <laughs> fuck you, Freddy Prince Jr. <laughs> fuck you, the dumb dog. ECW <laughs> could have been so much better. <sighs> dude, I don't, I don't think Freddy Prince was Shut on the show. Shut up, Johnny. Dude. Shut up. <laughs> I don't think he was here, Tony. He was a right, knucklehead. Fuck you, fuck you, and the dog <laughs> you came in on. Yeah, Scooby. Ah, a little nut. <laughs> yeah, so now it's time for Stevie Richards versus Terry Bronk. <laughs> <laughs> Who is $1,000 in the hole. <laughs> He's not getting out. He only got paid 500 bucks for this match tonight. <laughs> He did one of those things where he just goes, Yeah, I'll just work for free to pay off my debt. <laughs> 
I ain't got that. Can I just wrestle for free for a few months? He's getting overdressed. Yeah. He's weekly. <laughs> He's never recovered since. Dude, if only he could just change his bank account, he would have his overdraft fees. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Terry Brock don't oh. know about bank accounts. Terry no. Brock has a fucked up bank <laughs> no. situation, man. It's not you think Terry, Brock, you think Terry Brock? Brock was cashing checks, you think? Terry Brock was signing them too, yeah. He was <laughs> getting like pissed stuff. off. You have to sign this and you get to... <laughs> <laughs> you eat it. He just ate the check. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sign this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You think I'm signing a check for my WWE job? <laughs> That's what he told him, yeah. Dude, the idea that the thousand dollars put Sabu into permanent debt is fucking insane. <laughs> he never recovered. He's only like, getting paid fifty dollars a shot. He said, no one ever told Sabu what they were getting paid, so he's like, fifty bucks a shot. That's, that's more. Awesome. That's more than Paul Lee was paying me in the original ECW. Yeah. This is awesome. Fuck yeah, Onita yeah. wasn't giving me anything, bro. He, he just called Onita, me he my said, dad's ass. I, he said, I ain't coming to Japan no more. I got a real job. <laughs> 50 bucks. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> he points to this guy, Dad. We did it. <laughs> and then Sally Finally. got pulled over. We oh, made it. Oh, fuck. Uh. Dude, if, as long, if only he wasn't <laughs> fucking in the passenger seat with his unopened brand new pipe. Dude. <laughs> crack pipe. That he yeah. the back Where'd they get of? that shit, Randy Orton? <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude. Mike Knox. Have you, have you ever seen that video of the old guy who smokes oh. pot for the first time? You ever seen this video? Uh, hey, you probably. Seen this by this? <laughs> So this old guy goes to smoke pot for the first time, and he lights the bottom like a crack pipe. It's oh, like that is based. Yeah, Have you seen people. old people trying to drink Sprite? <laughs> oh, I've seen that one. I've seen that Dude, one. I, I've seen a bunch of this lately. What's that yeah. to do with Terry Bronk? I would like to know. Holy shit. All right. Sorry. 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 Well, anyway, anyway I'll show you. You'll see. It's Stevie Richards. Oh, okay. So his nameplate says Steven, Steven Richards, but Joey Styles refuses to call him this. He is Stevie Richards in this match. Yeah, he's Joey taking Styles. liberties here. He's making sure that it's Stevie Richards. So... Uh, um, Stevie Richards versus Terry Bronk. Um, Joey Styles calls Sabu a modern day evil Knievel, and I said, "This, this, <laughs> like, what are we like? Just shut the show down. The just shut the, the fucking game. show down." <laughs> he yeah, should have said, "Evil was fucking crack." Dude, <laughs> should have asked him if he prayed today. <laughs> that was it. The show right there, dude. Dude, Sabu. By the way, Sabu coming out through the crowd ECW entrance. I wanted him to hit fans so bad. He looked like, like he, he wanted he to. He definitely did. He almost <laughs> yeah, does later. Sure. Don't touch way out. Don't yeah. Do not touch that. Yeah. Uh, Steve is a heel here, by the way. Well, yeah, because he never, I don't think he ever turns face again. I guess not. I feel like he stayed heel the whole time, right? Through the Victoria stuff and all that shit, right? Yeah, um, yeah you know what? I guess you're right. Stevie Knight, he was a heel too. I think I it guess, was a heel right? thing, right? Yeah, I guess it you're right. It was probably a heel thing that got over, though, right? So it kind of turned that way. Yeah, but he was still true, a heel. I guess, yeah, he was like a serious heel here too. He wasn't doing like goofy shit. He was like, "I'm a wrestler heel here." Yeah, yeah. So Sabu beat the shit out of Stevie Richards on Saturday Night Main Event. Extreme uh, Rules, which of course that, again? that doesn't seem real to me. I, I heard. Oh, that sorry, sorry. Didn't know Sabu what happened. Yeah, I got you. Sabu beat the shit out of Stevie Richards on Saturday Night Main Event. WWE Saturday Night Main Event, which they brought on back for a minute. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm, that might have been the same show they did the sh uh, Sean. Vince and Shane match, right? I wonder if it was that one. Well, here's uh, here's a story here for the evening. We have uh, Stevie Richards versus Sabu. The story here is Stevie can out wrestle Sabu, but Sabu is more extreme. Oh, yes. So Sabu immediately schoolboys into a leg lock on Stevie Richards. So <laughs> <laughs> whatever story you thought we were telling tonight is not the story that I'm telling, brother. This is a Sabu match, hundred percent. And while he does that that uh, schoolboy leg bar thing, the we want tables chants go crazy. We want crowd. tables. <laughs> I don't think the fans understand. There's one extreme Dude. rules match of the night, and you're not. Getting yeah, right. Way. Taz says this is not an extreme rules match, idiots. <laughs> so he's an idiot. <laughs> oh no, that was me. I was at Oh, okay. Sabu then does a corner rebound line punch, spinning heel kick, <laughs> flipping leg drop comeback. Dude, all in succession. James is not fucking exaggerating. Um, yeah, and and Stevie Richards has been successfully out wrestled <laughs> and out extremed as Sabu locks in the camel clutch and wins. 
I'm sorry, spring back tornado DDT and then gavel clutch <laughs> and Stevie taps out in this not extreme rules match where he can. Dude, Sabu does the sliding, uh, the sliding thing here. He always does at the beginning, but he did like a drop kick sliding one and yeah. Stevie sold it, which was crazy. I don't think he's ever yeah, like Stevie hit that gets before. fucked here. <laughs> he got fucked Big on style. He got fucked Dude, on Saturday Night Main Event Extreme. Yeah, you're right. He can't win Extreme Rules. He, can, he he said he can out wrestle him, but he can't. So now he's just a liar, and now Stevie's done. His career's over. <laughs> I don't matter. He'll be on TV next week. Yeah, you're right. Sabu then chases the ref or with a railroad spike. <laughs> he pulls a railroad spike out of his boot, chases the ref around the ring. Then he goes up the aisleway and looks at a fan and says, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was insane. He puts a nail in his mouth, too. Like a Dude, that, was, that was not ad-libbing. He legit says, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit, man. Like, wrestling ain't been like this in a minute, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wrestling's got to bring this back. Yeah, man. This guy hated everybody, and he was fucking in debt. In debt big style, man. man. Dude, if only you could cut a promo, man. Just learn how to cut a promo. You could like Balls Mahoney. You want to know why I'm extreme? (laughs) Bro, don't even give me a start on that, because CM Punk's promo starts exactly the same way, and I fucking hate it all. Yeah, so we got, yeah, yeah, speaking of, we have CM Punk's vignette, which, uh, you know, these are very, these are very infamous, I guess you could say. (laughs) Nipples. Yeah, this is definitely a CM Punk written promo. Yeah, you want you know what makes me extreme? <laughs> <laughs> what qualifies me to be here in ECW? It's just rewording the sentence. It's just rewording it. Fuck Who you. asked? Fuck Who you, asked? Freddie <laughs> Prince. <laughs> Well, uh, well, of course, all these following things qualify CM Punk. I just want to remind everybody who's in, in ECW before. First off, no one qualified. You can just be here. But <laughs> CM Punk you are signed is, here. Yeah. Yeah. CM Punk is qualified to be here because he no, knows. the zombie come out and go, yeah. You want uh, well, the, zo- well, the zombie is qualified because he knows. Yeah. So, like, you know, you didn't think that through. <laughs> See- <laughs> See if Punk qualifies to be here at ECW because he knows Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai kickboxing, Kempo Karate, and the most disciplined of them all, wrestling. <laughs> he does fucking <laughs> Jesus. You well, should have said Ring of Honor, Paul Heyman. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Hagedorn. <laughs> Better learn how to use a table, buddy. <laughs> well, it's time everybody finds out exactly how disciplined I am, but I'm also disciplined enough to savor the anticipation of my debut. My name is CM Punk. What? All right. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, more talking time. Well, we have a pre-tape here. Kevin Thorne is here looking like a Discord moderator. <laughs> He has his Discord kit and Ariel here, and I want to team with Dork the Cloud. <laughs> Dork the Cloud. Watch the TikTok. Thorn asks Ariel, "What do the cards say about Big Show's title reign?" I don't know why this undercard jabroni is worried about Big Show's <laughs> title reign. He said, what did the cards it's say? It's like when they asked, they asked the mid-carders to tweet about, you know, the John Cena main event for Raw. <laughs> Shit's looking hot tonight. <laughs> oh, tune in. I'll be backstage to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Won't see me wrestling tonight, but he's the Big Show on the show. Ariel pulls a tarot card, and it's the death card, and the commentary goes, whoa, it's the death card. <laughs> Well, I say, well, because she starts rubbing the card all over her ditties. <laughs> Kevin Thorne then pulls her neck back to reveal the bite mark where he assumably bites her because this guy's a vampire. You're hurting her! <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking lame. <laughs> wow, this is like the land of the misfit toys. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> dude, this is sci fi me out, brother. This is fucking- nuts. <laughs> He's a fucking vampire or something, brother. He should have his own dog show. <laughs> like, having Taz on comedy trying to try and sell this is crazy as fuck. Like, Joey Styles, yeah. I feel like, could, he can suspend disbelief and fake it, but Taz is like, that's a fucking vampire, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a brother. death card, brother. <laughs> that's a death card, brother. You know what that means. I see those cards in the aces and eights, brother. <laughs> well, his balls, brother. <laughs> So it shows Big Show killing RVD to death and winning the title. Yeah, he kills everybody because he's seven feet tall and 500 pounds. <laughs> if you didn't know well that. Well over it. Now you know. Uh, <laughs> it shows Big Show, versus, well Big Show versus Ric Flair, which is definitively his best ECW match of all time. It's probably the only one people remember other than him winning the belt from RVD because of the post-match, right? Yeah, I think uh, that... DX had a match, too. We got to watch some time. Oh, Tony remembers that. Anyone else? 
Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> DX on ECW is crazy, by the way. Crazy? I was crazy once. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that makes me extreme. <laughs> What well, makes me crazy? You know what I'm makes me crazy? <laughs> it shows. So, you know, we've talked about Big Show and Ric Flair before, but like seeing it back and like seeing the bump that How Flair different. takes. Oh my god! Where Big Show just tosses him sideways into the tax <laughs> and watches as his body skirts the ground <laughs> is so crazy. Like Flair, like was like, this is going to be like my only ECW thing ever. Yeah, so he like, was like not. He was committed, a hundred percent committed yeah, he to like was. getting Big Show over here, and it fucking did. And then they followed it up with, "Well, Taker said I, I'm not Ric Flair. I'm gonna tell you that." <laughs> Dude, and Big Show knew it. You could see it in his fucking face. Big Show was scared to death to face this fucking guy because he said, "Well, my run ends right now." It looks like. Dude, you know what's crazy is that Heyman loved pushing Big Show like this too. Like I feel like every time Heyman got the book, Big Show got a run. I think it's because he was just like, dude. The guy's seven foot. You know, I mean, how do you not? Yeah, guy. right. Yeah. How, do you, what, it's how so many easy. guys you got like this? You know what I mean? Like, really? <laughs> well, got a yeah, couple. that's true. I guess we'll see that. <laughs> I guess we'll see that here in a minute. Yeah. Well, my favorite part here is it starts to play the well in the video, and then it plays the well in the arena, so you get like a reverb well, which oh, is remix. very legendary. Collect while you can. <laughs> Uh, and we get into the main event, which is uh, none other than ECW World Champion Big Show versus The Undertaker. So Big Show is starting to make his entrance here, and I'm like, oh, wow, this has gone by pretty quick. And I look at I look at the time. I see there's like 20 minutes yeah, left. I they, said, what? They this ain't right. I, I agree. I said the same shit. I was like, good oh, lord. My. I was like, there's got. I was like, there's no Taker promo at least. Like nothing. No, it's just fucking. We come back from commercial, and Undertaker is making his Undertaker entrance through the ECW set, which is in the crowd, which is maybe one of the top five most cursed things ever. Is it's Undertaker crazy. making this entrance? Yeah, and he still takes forever to get Dude. to the fucking ring, man. He does, man. Now, if you guys are Undertaker fans from this era. I'm going to need you to understand this. I didn't grow up with this shit, all right? I didn't grow up with this Undertaker. So to me, I have no connections with this dude. I'll tell you right now. This guy stunk like ass cheeks. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> Dude, well, you know what makes him extreme? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he should have did that for him. I would have saved it, bro. You know what makes me extreme? Azad. <laughs> uh, dude, yeah. Oh, by the way, so Taker does have one other ECW match, but it's two years after this. And I think you know what it is, James, because you were doing some research on one of the people in this match. <laughs> oh, it was Morrison and Miz. Yes! It was Morrison and Miz. Yeah. It's Kane and Taker against Morrison and Miz. Because yeah, I was. Okay, so for people who don't know, we talked about it on the pod before. And someone's like, I've never, I don't know what you're talking about. It was like the Miz's taunts where he does the bird flap into the arm thing. And then he also <laughs> does the uh, pointing head thing because it's supposed to be a faux hawk. Yes. So like, I was like, damn, does he not do that? Because I could have sworn he does do that. But I after, swore it too. We both were looking viciously. Yeah, nervous. we were just looking up Miz and Morrison match on YouTube like fucking freaks. It ruined my search <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yeah, it ruined my fucking algorithm <laughs> for a couple days. Yeah, but yeah, Miz definitely does the fucking bird thing in the arms, <laughs> and he does the fucking head thing, and it's fucking crazy. Are you doing it physically? Yeah, right of course now? I am. I yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it. Of course Thank I am. Thank you so much. Uh, I will say that I'm very excited to announce here tonight to not only my two friends here, but to the world that. This was my deadlock plus 10 match of the night. Come on, Melanie. Come on. We need a mouse click sound effect. I actually didn't plus 10 this one. I, this I was didn't. such a fucking TV stinker, bro. It was so bad. It was so bad. I plus 10, but like I was paying attention as I was plus 10. I so I got. I understand. I respect you. You know, I got a lot of it. You missed nothing, I bet. I bet you no, saw you missed, everything. You missed some good stuff. I, I'm interested to things. see if you have anything written down that I don't have written down. Because okay, I, sure. I plus 10 through this bitch crazy. Okay. I got like, a decent like, amount. Like yeah, okay. ECW's evil Knievel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what makes me extreme? My plus 10 is Undertaker match. You know what's crazy? is I don't feel like they called a goddamn thing for this. I feel like e I feel like Big Show was ECW champ. Undertaker came in. He said, let me see what you got. Here's the finish, and I'll see you out there. Yeah, I dude, I definitely feel like this was like, for some reason, somehow, Big Show has been wrestling for like, you know, over 10 years at this point. He's been in WWE for since 99. This is 2006. It definitely felt like 
Big Show had to prove himself as ECW champion. He definitely was fucking he testing a, him. Dude, his whole run, he had like a chip on his shoulder. Like, he definitely wanted to prove, like, I can. He probably ate it too. Why not? Why not? Oh, get his ass. <laughs> Dude, Undertaker, listen to me. Undertaker should have won the ECW World Championship here tonight. Why the fuck not? I would have wanted to see Undertaker versus Terry Brunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have loved it. That would have been awesome. Dude, Undertaker easy to be title run, even for like three weeks. Just give us him versus Sandman, him versus Sabu, and him versus Dreamer. That's no, all we no. need to see. We would get Undertaker versus Ric Flair, Undertaker versus Big Show, and then Undertaker <laughs> versus <a> Batista. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're that right. Then a problem. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, explain, James, if you could, because I, I know you loved how Big Show looked here. Explain Undertaker getting into the ring and what happens to Big Show as he's doing his entrance, because I feel like it turns into a whole different guy. Yeah, so Big Show's, like, super confident coming out, and, like, you know, he's controlling the, the he's not only the, the crowd, but, like, he's the champion, he knows he is, everything's good. So, like, okay, so Undertaker's music hits, the gong hits, of course he sells the gong, because, like, that's just what you do for Taker. Sure. And But, you know, whatever, he, he sells the original amount of Taker stuff, but then... Taker like gets to the ring and Big Show like he's like shit man yeah, I, we like, actually gotta wrestle this shit tonight and he looks we got at him 15. And, it, like it's not even a reaction it's 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 more so not the reaction he's the most blank stare dude ever it's like yeah, he like yeah. forgot yeah. everything it's like the second Taker hit the corner he's like what did we call <laughs> what did we call he just looks at him crazy and, uh, dude in this match. Taker, the whole match, Taker is just yelling spots to Big Show. He has yelled he the is. entire match. And they yeah. fucking fumble a bunch, too. Yeah, man. Because I, I genuinely think, like, I think what it was, and, and it could not have been, but Taker was definitely the type of guy that, like, if he's coming down to ECW to work, he ain't calling shit on ECW. You're no going to, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to have to play to him. And, you're going to do it in the ring, yeah. Yeah. And Big Show was trying. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I was also hoping the fan, like, if this was if this was the real ECW brother, Taker comes through the crowd and the fans will start kicking his fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, that would have been awesome. Fuck you, pussy. Pussy. Yeah, he would have never made it through Hammerstein like that, I'll tell you that. That would have been awesome. But no, he yeah. was just showing up as Big Evil or some shit, you know, right? Biden, you done it, hardcore yeah, yeah, I'd be like, this is really, ex you wouldn't know how I'm extreme, I'm Big Evil. <laughs> he he rides the bike off matches. the stage. <laughs> yeah, man, so, uh, yeah. This match was interesting. I will say one of my favorite parts of the matches here was Taker calling something from way out of the corner. Like they're in the corner. Taker like walks backwards like a foot yeah. and then turns around and calls something to Big Show. Like they're Dude. like he's just fly calling this shit and hoping Big Show just knows what's going on. It's fucked he, up. He briskly walks to the corner and then runs very briskly <laughs> to hit the running corner line. Yeah, we're not taking anything too quick here tonight, brother. We got to slow we it got down. a lot of time. Yeah, you're right. Got 15 almost, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah with 13, uh, what'd it go? 13.54 with the 14 yeah. fucking minutes they had, man. Yeah, and the Hell rest yeah. of the, guess what, guess what Mike Knox got? Two. And <laughs> yeah, well, that's what he deserves. Right with, yeah, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, I'd give them that too. Yeah. But yeah, dude, the amount of punch and kick exchanges in this match are unbelievable like oh, I, I, they they uh they start trading blows at the beginning uh and that actually pops the crowd they're like oh we're gonna get like a fucking yeah because they fight. start throwing yeah and then yeah, they're like oh we're gonna fight and then headbutt from big shell dude. which is like the first of a million headbutts that he does over and over and tony over. the the fucking headbutt kills them what i think really killed them is when big show wound back for the chop and gives Taker the most brothered out chop of all time. He hits him so <laughs> light, dude. That's Big Show's fucking thing is you shut up for the chop and he just clubs him. It's yeah. nothing. I was like, no, no, Big Show. I saw the Ric Flair match. What it's, are you doing? It's crazy because like Taker's obviously testing him, but no one told Big Show. I don't think either Big Show <laughs> didn't know or he was yeah. like, oh, I have to be nice to him. Because I think Undertaker was coming back from like an injury or something and like... I Okay, I thought they said it on commentary, James, where they're like, oh, Undertaker hasn't been around in a minute, but he's here on ECW. Yeah, so I think he was, like, injured or out for a minute, so he was probably coming back. He's like, God, I hope I don't hurt this guy tonight. Jesus. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh, I th maybe he hadn't been around since the pay-per-view, because it says Judgment Day, Kali beat Taker. Then Taker does a dark 
three house, four house shows, and then ECW. So this is Taker's first time back on TV since Judgment Day, which was like a month before, two months before this. So he's trying to sell the match he's got with Kali coming up or whatever, yeah. or supposed to have the match well, with Kali. Well, elevated liver enzymes, brother. That ain't fucking happening. <laughs> <laughs> Taker Big Show, bitch. <laughs> hey, watch that on Patreon, by the way. We have it on there, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, we yeah, like you said, fucking just nothing in the beginning here, just kicks and punches. And and the worst part is they're bullshit to walking corner line. Big show superplex on Taker though. That was cool. I did yeah, like that. I did that like was that. The one thing. Earlier you're talking about the them talking a lot. The, I remember the at one point at the beginning, like one of the first commercial breaks, the ref like tells them, You got one minute commercial. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the arena I don't know if Big Show and Taker have ever been like it's it's probably I don't want to say ever, but it's been a long time since they've been in an arena this like quiet for a match between the sure, two of them. Yeah. So Taker's just calling shit, the ref's just calling <laughs> shit. Like no one's making any noise, so like you can hear everything that's going on here. And uh this is pretty crazy to see. So Big Show superplex on Taker. They both sell. Taker just fucking yells out it says come on show and he goes and pins him <laughs> god damn all right damn. yeah that's like, that was fucking brutal man yeah. yeah what the fuck but a little bit before that by the way like earlier in the match taker fucking hits the ropes runs by this might be around when you were talking about he was in the corner yeah he like ran by him hit him and hits big show with a clothesline he doesn't expect that looks like shit and then he fucking throws another one show doesn't bump then he, Big Show just big boots them. It's like they're... I don't... I think you're right. I don't think they called shit. I don't think they no, did. No, no If they way. did, whatever they did, they forgot it all. But I, 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 I can't imagine Show and Taker, like, forgetting their whole match. Like, I guess it can happen, but, like, you know, it's not like yeah. they were... Fucking come on. It's two big guys like this. They were going to kick the punch the whole time anyways. You know, like, we got you're our right. big spots, and then we'll just sell the rest of it. <laughs> there was a spot on the outside where they were, like, Taker was, was about... I was just about to say, yeah. Oh, that one? Where it looks like Taker's going to do the leg drop, but then he just boots he him in the head. <laughs> Okay, so Tony, there's a couple of those. Okay, Taz there's... gets excited for it, too. Taz's like, oh, I know, says, oh you know what this is. Yeah. And then he just kicks him in the head. Fuck it, I'm not doing a leg drop on ECW. Dude, and just before that, Tony, Big Show is, like, on a knee in the ring, and, like, Taker runs at him, and Big Show just spears him off of one knee. <laughs> I said, oh, shit, oh, yeah, right? He does. They replay it, too. They're like, look at the one knee spear. <laughs> yeah, it's like his new fucking shit. <laughs> Yeah, Tony, the fucking setup for the guillotine leg drop on the apron and not doing it is gnarly. It's like, fuck it, not an ECW, no way. Taker is on the floor. Show is just walking by him, and Taker snatches his ankle and tests. Oh, brother, that's a <laughs> leg bar. <laughs> <laughs> that what? boy is spitting. Let's go. Yeah, that's what for fuck? real. That is for real, man. Yeah, this match is crazy. Like, look at, like, maybe because I watched it with, like, very modern eyes and shit. But this is, like, pretty crazy to see this type of match yeah. with these two guys, you know. Especially at the time. Especially Taker, you know. especially two big sluggers. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's got him in that leg bar. Big Show's going, ah! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Big Show has to sell it because he knows if he does it, Undertaker's going to shit in his bag in the back. You, 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 I can <laughs> ask everybody who would, how would Big Show get out of this? Uh, rope break would never be the one I would think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he grabs the ropes, you're right. <laughs> what a little bit. So we get a double goozle. Uh, Joey Sal says, double goozle. My, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Big Show, this is so crazy. Big Show goes for a headbutt. And then oh changes it to oh a clothesline or something midway through, fucks it up big way. Taker falls down, and Big Show just backs up and yells, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> it's like on his face too, and he yells, "Fuck!" He's so pissed, Tony James. I like replayed that four times. Because what's great about it is because like when Big Show does his headbutt, he like lifts up his knee, his like leg, and I think yeah, Taker you know, the thought Big he Show was headbutt. I think Taker thought it was something else, so like he bumped for it or whatever, and then uh, Big Joe just yells, fuck. He's it's like so trying good. to grab him from falling or something. He goes to head by the lines when he tried falling. He's like trying to be the fuck. And you're going to pay for that. <laughs> Dude, these I guys. I wrote he fakes a headbutt and then also fakes a clothesline and takes it himself. Takes <laughs> Fuck. Dude, <laughs> these guys are going through it, man. I'm telling you, this is, a, hell. this is a tough fucking match for these two dudes. I bet Taker was like, fuck, I know it's going to be God like this. Damn. God <laughs> damn. Like, y'all, you got to change the champion out here, man. This is crazy. Don't air this. Don't air this shit. <laughs> yeah, so Big Show. Change the champion. <laughs> Big Show locks in the cover clutch. Um, but oh, Taker. This is all, I actually like this a lot. I thought this okay. was fucking sweet. <laughs> You're right. And, and I'll be honest with you. I wrote down later that. The finish of this match would have been way better if it was in a different match. And right. like 
it's true because it is very good. The way that they built to this was perfect. Everything lined up perfectly. It was not the right fucking match no, to do it. It wasn't no. the right match to do it because it was such a cool finish. And like now when you do it again, it'll be like, oh, they're just doing it again off the thing. Very creative, like very creative stuff. It here. is cool. They should have waited for the Punjabi prison that they didn't know they were going to be in together. <laughs> you know, that, that's also a good point. There is never a good point for them to do this finish because they're never just going to have a clean straight up match with a winner. <laughs> so, when they see they, they see this match and they say, "Yeah, we should run that back," but in the Punjabi prison. Well, it was only because Kali got elevated liver enzymes, big <laughs> style, <laughs> and half the roster did which too. Which is weird. I don't know how that happened, but. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Brunk probably. <laughs> Terry, Terry Brunk pills are good. Everybody else. <laughs> he had to sell those pills because it's a thousand dollar debt. <laughs> yeah. Maybe pills. <laughs> elevated everybody's liver because he could pay a thousand dollar debt. You elevated all their enzymes in their liver. Just fucking yeah, with you. Thousand dollar pill. <laughs> and he, he said that he said that these pills are not illegal. They're, they're just to elevate your liver. Smoke them out of my tobacco crack pipe. <laughs> I swear this is blue chew. I swear. And Ed God said, yes, I will, Terry Brock. Yes, <laughs> I will. Said, give me that. Give me, give me. Put Tommy Playboy with right for get those pills. Maybe <laughs> Percocet? And maybe half. <laughs> half oh, your you could pay a allowance. $1,000 debt. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. shit. Well, all right, so. infected the whole roster. That's awesome. So. Big Show locks in the Cobra Clutch. All right. Yes. Which is his finish. By the way, that, that move. Yeah. The, where he fucking swings you around and just it's crazy. You. It's, it's awesome. Crazy. That was yeah. a good move. Um, Taker said, no, it's not. It's not. And it never will be again. <laughs> <laughs> so Big Show locks it in. Taker climbs the ropes to get out of it, succeeds, and then hits old school on him. It was awesome. Like, he had to, like, teeter totter his way up there because he's like half in the Cobra Clutch, but not. I thought at first he was going to do the Brett Austin and like roll back and try to pin show. He just climbs all the way to the top, sets him up for the old school hits. And I was like, that is. Dude, I was cool. legit. Like, I was like, oh shit, they're working. Cobra like, Clutch. Yeah. yeah, Taker <laughs> climbs up. He's been trying to do old school before in this match. Yeah. Climbs up, finally hits old school. Taker, I thought he was bumping and feeding. Or uh, Big Shot, I thought he was bumping and feeding. I was like, oh, he's going to feed back in the choke slam. He's going to be like, can he pick him up? Can he pick him up? And then Taker fucking choke slams him. <laughs> and he beats him. And Taker's the ECW champion. It should have been James. I was James, like, in my head, there was like a been. million things running through my head. And it was not what happens next. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's the whole show. <laughs> well, guess what? Taker big boots show to the outside side and wait a minute who's that coming through the entrance over there <laughs> holy shit Can it holy be? shit he's, he's here <laughs> <laughs> the great golly is here <laughs> this is unbelievable man this guy's walking in clenched fists fucking swaying through the crowd <laughs> crazy <Dude. And> <laughs> He is a he's just learning how to walk and little did he know <laughs> 15 minutes after this, this. He just, just got, got out of the fight. embryo. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the elevated liver inside pills? Well, 15 minutes after this, he receives his pills from Sabu in this locker room and it sets him on a down swing. Holy shit, man. Terry Brock, man, he got that money though. Come on, fuck with my boy. Not enough though, but just enough, you know. Yeah, he just, just needed enough. a thousand wrestlers to give him one dollar so he <laughs> And Tony, Terry Brooke did it against all odds, Tony. And against all Tony, odds. He even, so yeah, he even went to DNA to do it, too. <laughs> he still had back death from WWE CW. He ran out of wrestlers in WWE. He else. got all the boys fired, so he got heat. So he had to go to TNA and do it. And he got fired from there, too. Just 1,000 wrestlers at a dollar each. Good gimmick. Well, the great call is here, and this is a preview of the Great American Bash, which <laughs> reminds me that last week we watched Thunder leading to the Great American Bash at WCW. Holy shit! Holy shit! You're we, right. Uh, we cannot the get away from this two shit. Shows we are doing here. Wow. Yes, of course. So Taker hits Kali with a chair, <laughs> and then clears the announce table because he's going to choke slam Big Show through it. Oh, we're DQ'd crazy here, oh, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, man, the whatever. <laughs> You knew yeah. that this was not going to have a finish. <laughs> like, this is not going to ECW Extreme Championship Wrestling World Championship <laughs> ended in a DQ. Yeah. Well, Taker well, yeah. was not losing to this fucking Japan. Yeah, no fucking way, man. Look at this guy. But Kali and Big Show turn it around. 
They grab fucking Undertaker, <laughs> hit the double charge slam. High times! <laughs> High times on Taker to the table. And uh, Kali then, <laughs> someone yells at him to taunt over Undertaker's body. <laughs> Big Show doesn't trust Kali. Big Show doesn't trust him. Big Show goes, one, two, three, as loud as he can, because he knows Kali. We got to get him up for this choke slam. Yeah, dude, Kali puts his foot on Taker's chest, raises his arms up, and goes, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Right out of the embryo. <laughs> right out of the embryo. <laughs> 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 Put your foot on it. They're yelling keys at it. Put your foot on it. The great Kali is here. Broly from fucking Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, what a. This was extreme, boys. Then he looks into the camera and says, You want to know what makes me extreme? <laughs> you want me to be extreme? <laughs> You know what, man? They had a gas finish in mind here, which adds to the fact that I think the takers are here's the finish, figure it out. That's all you got, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm glad they didn't waste on a shitty ass match like this, but I'm pretty sure they never revisited this finish. So maybe they should have just finished it <laughs> uh, and gave Taker the title. Yeah, because Big Show. Big Show's on ECW for a minute, I imagine, right? If anyone knows of a match until with December. Big Show. Until December. If, if yeah. anyone knows of a match with Big Show and Undertaker where it finishes with Undertaker doing the old school to the Cobra Clutch and then hits him with the Chub <laughs> Slam and beats him, yeah. please Never. let us fucking know because that shit would be gas. <laughs> That was one and done. I don't think I've ever seen Big Show or uh, Taker get, go to the uh, old school that way ever. That was a one and only Yeah, if, if anyone's like, ever seen that outside of this match, please show us. Yeah, we want to know, man, for real. <sighs> what a what a wild ride this show was, man. What? I, I, I think before you guys were talking about the ratings, did we get what the rating was for this show? 2.2. 2. That is un, that is unfucking believable Dude, yeah, Taker's man. here. Yeah, Takers, they're a Corpus Christi, goddammit. Damn. And man, 11 wow. p.m., 2.2, 11 p.m. All right. Wow. Holy shit. That's a Yeah, you're right. 2.2 2 at 11 p.m. Jesus. Wow. Well, good yeah, the lead in was probably the aliens invade Texas or something. <laughs> that was Mutant League football, man. <laughs> oh, right? yeah, you're right. My bad. Dude, do you know Do you know what the next episode has as the main event? Is, is it the DX one? It's Big Show versus Kane. Oh, my. Yes, I sir. can't imagine, bro. Yes, I can't sir. imagine how that fucking went. I'm sure it was tremendous. Did they keep 2.2 for a while? They went to 2.4. They got a string of episodes. Wow. Wait, which, one, which one? Which one? Which one? What, what's going on the 2.4 episode? Uh, yeah, wow. Main event is Batista and Big Show. That's oh, the Change shit. the Channel episode? <laughs> yeah. 2. Oh, we, like it here. we like it here. We like it here on Sci Fi. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens after that, I guess, really? So Big Show wrestled ECW, and that took, like, for some reason, these matches took, like, years off his life or some shit. Yeah, that's right, Because he was trying to prove himself. No, well, like, Tony, literally. as I look at it here, he wrestles 400 ECW house shows against Sabu. <laughs> well, they have to get ready for that SummerSlam match. If he fucks, if Terry Brock fucks his SummerSlam match. <laughs> You're right. He might, no, now that I think about it, Big Show's ECW title reign might be the most defended title of all time. Like, I'm not... I don't know the facts, but he defended like, that title every fucking it looks time like he wrestled. He's, it looks like it. The title well, buddy, Orange Cassidy has defended yeah. the title. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what, anyway, what back to Tony? Big Show. Yeah. Big Show took years off his life doing this. He actually had to take time Me off. Me too. Of wrestling. He was actually out of the WWE after December to December. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Oh, he loses and the he belt did. and he's, he takes a break? Yeah, yeah, and he actually like does like a house show or something. If you look at the cage match thing, I was looking it up. Yeah, he's supposed to go uh, to TNA. Big you know, show, yeah. Holy him shit. and Jericho. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, he wrestles Hulk right. Hogan in Memphis in 2007. <laughs> yeah, that match, that match. That's uh, because they were gonna do Hogan and Jerry Lawler in Memphis. You know, because Lawler in Memphis and oh, WWE sure. said, I don't think so, pal. Oh, then, you're uh, right. Wow. And then Big Show went down there because he was Paul White because he couldn't do Big Show. Oh. But then he came back and. I don't know whatever he did after that, but he yeah he literally needed time off because ECW killed his spirit or hurt his body whatever <laughs> I don't fucking know. Jesus, so that's brutal. Show. ECW literally killed the Big Show. Dude, does he not wrestle in 2007 except for the Hogan match? That's what it looks like. Yeah, because he took time off. He was he, he took a up. whole year. He took like over yeah. a year. He was literally fucked up from ECW. Wow. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Holy shit, I didn't know that. Well, yeah. having hardcore listen, matches with Ric Flair probably wasn't the right move. Shouts out to Big Show for putting it down for EC Dub. I respect that. A summer shit, of Big Show, go watch it and relive it. It's great stuff. Yeah, and Terry Brunk giving people elevated <laughs> <illiterate> <laughs> <vibes>. pills. 
Gotta, gotta pay that thousand dollars. <laughs> well, there you go. That was ECW WWE style, July eighteenth, two thousand six, and that is our show. <laughs> <laughs>